welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I am a Reference and Technology Librarian at the Brookline Village Library. And I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your very own block printed greeting cards. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month, the library is offering new take-home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and follow the link there or visit brklib.com slash eventbrite to reserve yours for free pickup at any library location. Now let's get crafting. Today's project will take most makers about two hours to complete. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. One sheet of carbon transfer paper, a linoleum block, some blank greeting cards and envelopes, a linoleum cutter and blade, a hot glue stick, and a jar of printing ink. From home, you'll also need to gather some scrap paper and a pencil. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. To start our project, we need to choose a design for our block print. To help you plan, you can trace the outline of one of your blank cards onto a piece of scrap paper so you have a canvas to sketch on. You can also print out an image that's no longer than three and a half by four and seven eighths inches. Keep in mind that once you carve the block, you'll flip it over to print, so any text or images will be mirrored from your original drawing. For example, to make sure our idea bot prints with their antenna on the correct side, we'll be working from a mirror image of the design we want. If you've never block printed before, we recommend choosing an image with large, simple shapes and straight lines, like an abstract geometric print, since it will be easier to carve. Once you've planned out the design you'd like, we'll use the carbon paper to transfer it to your printing block. Lay your printing block flat on a table, then look at your carbon paper. You'll want the darker, shinier side facing down against your block. Finally, layer your design on top, facing up towards you. Using a pencil, trace the outlines of your design, pressing as hard as you can for the best transfer. If you have thin lines in your design, be sure to trace both sides of them. It might be difficult to see on this camera, but the design did transfer. To make it easier to see, I like to trace over it again with a pencil. Next, use your sketch to clearly mark the white spaces in your design on your printing block. This is what we'll be carving away. Before we get started on this step, a quick reminder that your linoleum cutters are sharp. They may not look it, but you'll be applying a fair amount of force as you're carving, so it's really important that you take your time and carve safely. Take your lino blade out of its envelope and push the blunt end into the plastic handle in your kit. As you carve, you'll use one hand to hold your block steady and the other hand to carve. Anytime you shift positions, check to make sure that you'll be cutting away from any part of your body, especially your other hand. Remember that we're carving away any parts of the design we want to remain unprinted. Keep your original sketch handy so you can double check as you go. When possible, I recommend starting with the parts of your design that are more detailed, since you'll have the most precision when the block is still mostly intact. Working from the center out is also a good idea. We're aiming to have all of the white space in your design carved about an eighth to a quarter of an inch below the printing parts. This step can take a while, and it's important not to rush it, so it's a good time to put on some music or an audiobook to listen to as you work.
If your design has a lot of white space at the edges, like mine, you can use a pair of scissors to trim away the excess without having to carve it. Once you're happy with your block, we can start printing. Grab your cards, printing ink, and hot glue stick, which we'll be using in place of a rubber rolling tool called a brayer. You'll also need some scrap paper, or if you have it, some waxed or parchment paper. We also grabbed a paintbrush to help us get the ink out of the jar, but you could also pour it or use a spoon. This will probably get a little messy, no matter what you use. Whatever tools you choose, put about a tablespoon of printing ink on your scrap or wax paper and use your hot glue stick to spread the ink out evenly until it covers a bit more space than your carved block. Lay your carved block face down in the ink and press down on the back to make sure the ink is evenly applied. Then use the block just like you would a rubber stamp. The cards we included have a slight gloss to them, so the prints will come out a little rustic. If you'd like cleaner edges or a higher contrast on your design, you can use a paintbrush to fill in the ink later or print onto a more porous surface like printer paper or sheets from old books, then glue that print onto your cards. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the library trustees and the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we miss you and wish you very happy making. Bye. -bye.